Remember all those stories online about that kid who jumped over that helicopter? Yeah, that was me. Keyword, was me. After all the hype died down, and less people were buying my merch, I had to think about what the future held in store for me and my wife, Mia. Tony Hawk was generous enough to offer me a job as a PR guy for his charity services. I was hesitant at first, but he insisted. Said I was like family to him or something like that. It was decent enough pay. I was able to afford a pretty sizable house in Boston. Technology was progressing so quickly. And so was civil discourse. It was only a matter of time before things would boil over. And sure enough, they did. Thankfully, Tony made sure we were in good hands. He enlisted our family into one of the local vault programs before returning to California. Things were going smoothly until the doctor told us to step into some chambers. He said he'd be running a few tests before we could begin our new lives in the vault. Though in reality, it was all just a front. In reality, we were just being contained, frozen, only to be thawed out hundreds of years into the future, leaving our old lives behind us. First, there was silence, just a long and endless silence I couldn't escape from. Then I saw two figures approaching my wife's cryopod. I couldn't make out exactly if they were the researchers from before. Hell, my head's still a little foggy. The only thing I could remember was a gunshot. Followed by the sounds of my son crying. Then, everything was still once again. As soon as I got out, I hoped it was all just a dream. How? Why? The cryopod opened up and all that was left was Mia's corpse. Sean was nowhere to be found. Those monsters. Where did they take him? As I went through the facility, I realized things had changed a lot more than I expected them. Roaches the size of house cats. The hell's going on? I raced out of the vault as fast as I could. With only one thought in my mind. Need to get Sean back. No matter what, I can't let anything slow me down. Tomorrow seems so far away. But I live for today. Whew, all right, well, that was, uh, yeah. Once again, another over the top opening for a video that's probably not going to be that serious. Hello everyone, DZ Dog here. We're gonna be playing Fallout 4 a little bit. Yeah, I wasn't sure um, how to get Tony Hawk's Proving Grounds working, since um, yeah, the Wii versions. Uh, I don't know. It just doesn't want to work for my Dolphin emulator, and uh, I could go onto their forums, but I'd have to like give them my entire build, like computer build, and. I don't have to wait for like someone to respond. That could take forever, so you know, let's just uh let's just mess around and fall out for a bit. This is like an alternate timeline where uh the bombs fell. The D and his family got into a to a vault. Ooh, cram. My wife Mia, she loved the crab. Yeah, but I won't be like doing any like serious role playing. As D, for the most part, it's just going to be me, uh, ex him exploring the wastes and looking for his son. It won't be as dramatic as the opening, so you know, don't worry if that uh, that kind of um made you a little uneasy or made you a little cringy, whatever. Because I cannot act, so I decided no, let's not actually try to role play. It's not gonna feel good for any of us. It's just to uh, play the game. I won't be metagaming though, like if there's something I know that D wouldn't know where to look or go. So I won't just be like dashing off somewhere. I'll just be uh, exploring. Let's see, found Sanctuary. Hmm. Okay, so you can collect items, you know. You can use it for uh, to craft things with caps. Why would anyone take a bunch of caps? Weirdest thing. Alright, so we gotta find her, her robot. Oh! Mm. 
built to last. As I live and breathe. Oh, yeah. It's, Don't. it's really you. Uh, Codsworth? You're, you're still here. But, well, that beard. So, other people could still be alive, too. But of course I'm still here. Surely you didn't think a little radiation. <laughs> Also, I couldn't mute the, uh, the voice actor with any of the mods, so I'm just gonna have to deal. Plus, I don't really feel like talking all that much. Anyway. Oh, uh. They, yeah. They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, uh, I believe you need a distraction. Yes. A distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers. Still got my old deck? Charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> nah, I don't think so. Terrain's too rough. Just fall and break your ankles. Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. Mm. I have to Your look up some skateboarding mods. I, I haven't no found any though, but we'll I'll have to look a little harder. Uh, 200 years? What? Are you? A bit over 210, actually, <laughs> sir. Or give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> That means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> That's funny, everyone I love's dead. Thank you for that, Cogsworth. Cogsworth, you're acting a little bit weird. What's wrong? I I like these Macklemore hair. It's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. And that was a, a voice ch or, um, speech check. You can actually use those a lot in game to like avoid conflict, that kind of stuff. Uh, okay, calm down. Whoa, whoa, focus, Cosmo. Or just the bombs came nuzzle into my beard. Left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, a surprise. But then Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh thank you, Cartoon. Uh, I don't know, Cosworth. I... Follow me. Okay. Here we are. Deacon is robot companion. She's on an adventure. It's a fight game. Wait, what? Oh. Uh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Good job, Cogsworth. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's a go. But yeah, I don't really have that many mods installed, just to... Just, of course, this one skin texture mod. And, uh, I guess an armor mod. I don't know if it'll work, because... Yeah, that one mod didn't work. Oh, jeez, God. Damn. I don't really want to waste my ammo. Uh, hey, Codsworth. The 
this whole thing was a waste of time. I only wanted to help, sir. But maybe you could try and conquer. Uh. There are still people alive and conquered? Yes, although they're a bit rough. You remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge, out of the neighborhood, and past the Red Rocket Station? Yeah, it's just typical Boston. Boston. Okay, so we gotta go to gotta go to Concord. Got my freaking virtual boy, Pit Boy. Seriously, I need to find some skateboarding mods. I don't know how that would work in this game. Some grinding. Ah! Ah! No! Radiation! In my veins! Hmm. Fight pistol. Put little doggo. Tire iron. So, uh, yeah, these in Boston, <laughs> you know, you've never been able to go. I mean, me has been. Oh! Hey, what's up? Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You seem like an okay guy. <laughs> yeah, me had always wanted a okay, dog. Okay, then. Let's stick together. Let's go. Okay, so you can issue commands, you can have them, I don't know, search things. Oh. That he just found something. What you got? What you got for me? Uh. You can carry stuff. You can also give them armor, up here in, uh, stim packs, stuff like that. Cigarettes. More caps. You know, I don't know why Dude would be taking all these caps, but I'm sure he sees a pattern. They might have some importance in this society. Okay, this is in trees, equipment, safe storage. Hmm. Uh. Uh. Oh. Oh. Smash boy, let's go. A giant rat. Oh, back here. Yeah, I don't want to waste my ammo. Plus, it's more fun to do this. Whoa. Oh, hey, hey, oh, you got him, dog me. Good boy. Oh, one more. Ah. Okay. Harvester entrails. Okay. Let's continue onward to Concord. Well, first let's uh head off the beaten path. That's the best thing about these kinds of games, you know, to just explore. Even though I didn't really like the whole, uh, you know, stronghold building. The exploration's always good in these games. Always something neat to see. Oh, hello there, travelers, or, um, settlers. 
You're just some uh, humble, humble travelers. Oh, leveled up. Yeah, you gain experience for finding these uh, new places. So let's do that. Let's level up. Uh, let's see. I guess toughness. You're gonna be getting hit a lot. Plus, you know, he's a skater. He's um, used to bailing out. It's made him tough. Ooh. What's that? See that dog me? Deer with two heads? You're beautiful. Oh. You would love this. Alright, let's keep on moving. Hit you in the back. Do, 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 do. What is in here? Some corn. It's in the box. Yeah, I'm sure it's safe to eat. Hmm. 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 Even on the, uh, the lowest settings, this game still looks nice. Ooh, winter jacket. Jeans. I'm sure they didn't belong to anyone. Uh, maybe this monkey? What the f- Ah! Ah! Dog beat! <laughs> Dog me! Help! Get help! <laughs> Dog me! Oh god! Uh, caps. Okay. We have a stim pack. So we should be good. You know, just eject that in there. It kills all your bones, all your tendons. Don't understand how that works, but sure, why not? Lock tight. Damn. Uh, note to tweed. Reading this, then you're an idiot. This is the last time I'll tell you. Locking the stories, entrance in the sewer pipe. Ooh, sewer pipe. We're doing some Mario time over here. Sewer pipe. Maybe it's around here. Huh. See, it's just the little things that make this game so fun. Even if I prefer the previous ones. I think we might want to get our gun out. Uh, hey guys! I'm gonna just put my gun away and see if they're friendly. Okay, no! Alright, let's show off some, uh, some bats. There we go. Yeah, you can slow down time. armor pieces you can attach to your clothes. I actually like this a little bit. I mean, the only thing I didn't like was, uh, let's see, about the same. Oh, this one's better. Is that certain clothes didn't allow you to put on armor. Oh, I like that. A 
Yes, stick with it. Damage resistance. Nah, I guess that'll do. Okay, don't think the rest of these guys will be friendly, if there are anymore. There's Walter. He's eating noodles? Oh, that sucks. Need to separate a man from his low main. But you gotta do it. The wastelands, D. Shut up. The rules of nature. Good the sun, it goes down. And it can't open any of these. Okay. Uh, just peace. Cool. Crack whore. Yeah. I'm sure she stays dead. Alright. Hmm. Alright, let's see what we got. Right leg. Hmm. Eh. I like the other one a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Okay. See that beautiful bear red chest, but no, not wearing that. <laughs> uh. Just put on the vault jumpsuit. Mm. There we go. He has no idea what's going on. Just picking everything up. Saw it in Doomsday Preppers, he's doing it. Gotta, gotta procure everything on site. Grab everything you can. Hold on. Will this key work? Yes! There we go. Duct tape. We need duct tape. Watch for weight as well. Nice, very good. More cram. Don't worry, Mia. Find Sean. Uh, well, can't mind the oh. No. Oh my god. Scared the crap out of me. Never seen that happen at a long I played through this. Okay, we're back at the front. We're due book. Use dog meat. You know, the old mangy radiated look. Not 
No, attractive. <clears throat> I'm actually fighting off a bit of a sinus infection. Ooh, what the hell are you, boy? Get back. Hey! Oh. Don't worry, we disarmed him, doggy. Yeah, there you go. Let's disarm her. Oh, nice. Hey! Back attack. Oh boy. Playing this on normal? Maybe my uh, stats are just that bad. I don't know. I didn't want to make D a soldier since he's not a soldier. He's. Skater. Oh, nice. Yeah, hold him. Hold him. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, but he's not a, he's not a soldier. He's not never been in any actual conflicts outside of, you know, skater disputes and that kind of shit. I mean, the closest thing to a gun has probably been, like, I don't know, a Nerf gun he's used. Playing Half of the Dead with the Dave and Busters. will get stronger in due time. Make his mommy and daddy proud. Even though they're probably radiated husks somewhere in Turkey. You know, I know Bethesda said they wanted to focus Fallout in the United States, but hopefully one day they'll be able to do like, um, Fallout set in China or Russia, some deal. other country. Hand over the goods you owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. You know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's strung out. Now don't make me come in there and shoot up that little trading post of yours. Uh -oh. uh, hey boys, yeah. Having a little problem? I think I can uh, solve it, you know. You know, a nine cow to the bullet. Or brain. Blah, 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 blah. I can't talk, I'm still kind of cryogenically frozen. Hold on. Okay. Dude in the man bun and brother over here. That shit just happened. And I missed! Get him! That's right, Simone. Looks like you won't be able to use your big bro anymore. Huh. Oh. There we go. That was a woman? Oh. Uh. Whoop. Oh, nice. Got a rifle. Uh, hey. Everybody all right? Never take a hit of Jed again, I swear. Hey, nice haircut, bro. <clears throat> you changed the stitching wrong over. You okay, ma'am? I can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag. Here, this is for you. Now, if you ever need to trade, my shop's open. Thank you. Uh, you got things covered from here? Yeah. Love it's up gonna again. take my son a while to get off the chems, Dang but we'll make it. We always do. Now, let's get back to business. You need anything for the road? Let's see what you have. It's all worth every cap I'm charging. You know, D kind of looks like Bruce from Funhouse. I just realized. Just a little bit. A little bit. Let's see. Uh, guess I need some... Impacts? Maybe I don't really have that much money. Or anything, really. Uh, dirty blue suit, dirty trench coat. I think some of the stuff isn't as good as what I currently have. Black glasses, no. 
I would say use this as a means of intimidation, but I think if you saw a red man with spiky hair, you would be uh, pretty thoroughly intimidated. I guess we just sell. Sell, sell, sell. Don't need those. Those are crap. Yeah, I just sell all these. I have two. Sell one of them. It's a little stronger, not that much. Uh, let's see, my ear helmet. Hmm, let's see. Gee, this one's a lot. That's good. It's got higher damage resistance, but not that good against like beam weapons. But we're not really going to be seeing anyone using those for quite a while. Uh, sure, why not? I'll sell it. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, uh, look, at, look at that sassy little look he's got. Okay, well, like I said, let's actually continue with the plot. I don't know where we're going. Just going to Concord, but we don't know why. Just because of um, our insane robot said there might be people there. Before we go fighting evil, I'd say he's an Ed Sword now, but no, he's got this little blue jumpsuit on. Maybe later he'll get something a lot darker. I like to think he's still a bit of a goofball, even despite his child being abducted and his wife being murdered. Yeah, just gotta remain positive. Are you sure you killed multiple people now? And you're in this hell hole. There's no escape from. But you know, it's just life. Oh my, that's not good. We gotta go in there. Is there any, uh, you know, less murdery people? Okay. Hey, hey, no. Over down. Oh, nice. It's gonna Rodney Kinger, but sure, that that'll work. Oh. Uh. Laser musket. Oh uh, yeah, sure, no problem. No idea what this is. That guy. I like that hat though, I'll take that. Uh, let's see. Sure, why not? Junk. Okay. Looks like we got ourselves uh, another mission. Oh yeah. He's packing. Okay. 
Um, how do you? You have no idea. Neither do I. Uh, okay, yeah, you just crank it. It's like that one gun Futurama. I just realized it's literally that gun, the um, laser musket. It's that one gun when our uh, Fry and Bender get um, drafted. Whoa! Hey, where are ya? There you are, dog. You know, what, what's going on? I don't know why I keep calling him this canon name. Just do call him, like, I don't know, Ollie? Something skater related, because, you know. What do you do? He's holding out pretty well for, uh, for a burnout punk. He's just living his dreams, bro. Uh. Ow! Shit! Stop it! Yeah! Seriously, I need to level up again. Uh. Never use that, but sure, why not? Agility, non automatic pistols, uh, fortune finder. Sure, let's be a thief. Pickpocket. I, I usually don't pickpocket a lot in this game than I do in the older ones. Me. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just, uh, just a red man. Misses every shot. Um. Oh, God! Oh, I get the one guy? Hey, hey, you leave my dog alone. Uh. Nice. Combo combo. Uh, okay. Well, I think we're just gonna stick to the uh, pistol. Actually, a lot more damage. Not that much ammo, though. Yeah, pistol. That's why you save your ammo, kids. Come on, man. They ain't going nowhere. We got other shit to deal with. You hear that? In the butt? No. Okay. Psst. Here. I found him. Oh, jeez. Not what I meant to do, but sure. All right, we did it. Dog meat or Ollie? Get out the way. Thank you. Yeah, I, I know, I know. I'm coming. I love run. Man, I don't know who you are, but Jet Time is impeccable. Preston Garth, Commonwealth Minute. Man. Just passing I'm just through. passing through. Fair enough. But the enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? And those raiders want us all dead, including you. I have my own problems, Garvey. Yeah? Like what? You help us, maybe we can help you. Hmm. Uh... My son Sean's been kidnapped. He's not even a year old. That's messed up. 
I'm sorry. I know how this world can be. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First, it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Uh, ghouls? Ghouls? What are ghouls? Wow, maybe you really aren't from around here, are you? No, ghouls are irradiated people. Most are just like you and me. They look pretty messed up and live for a long time, but they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations rotted their brains, made them feral. They'll rip you apart just as soon as look at you. Anyway, we figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. Will it be enough to stop those maniacs? Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. What makes that power armor so special? A West Tech internalized servo system, that's what. Like I was dialogue Inside talking. that baby, super is the new normal. You'll be stronger, tougher, resistant to rats, and... Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertebrae. Do that. No traders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Hmm. Minigun. Now we're talking. <laughs> I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC, a standardized fusion core, your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. We know right where to find it. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement, locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Uh, what? I don't know. We'll see. Well, it's not a no. Look, if you can get to the fusion core, jack it into that power armor, and grab the minigun, then those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Okay. We're going to do that next time. Cause I think we've been going on for too long. All right, everybody. Ooh. Perfect.